All right, let's do this. We are out here aftershock festival on Thursday. Oh man, what what a treat this is for you guys and for myself here. I have the legendary, the one and only Tony Campos from Static X. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Hell yeah, man. Check it out, staticx.org, guys, for everything that we're going to be talking about here. You're doing double duty, though, this weekend at Aftershock. Not only <laughs> are you on Static X, you're doing Fear Factory as well, right? Yeah, apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last year it was Tommy Victor I was talking to. He was nice. doing Prong and Danzig. Yeah. And so you're you're the double duty man this year. Yeah, uh, I, I guess somebody has to take the mantle, Yeah, right? yeah, right? <laughs> How did that come about? I mean, are you um, good friends with those guys? Um, with uh, Fear Factory? Fear Factory, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean... Dino's like one of my closest friends in the business, man. Um, yeah. You know, Fear Factory was the first band to ever take Static X on tour back in uh, 1999. Yep. Um, and we've been friends ever since. Uh, we've been doing, me and Dino have been doing a, a side project, a death metal grindcore band in Spanish called Asesino. Been doing That's that right. for 20 plus years. So, you know, and uh, I, I wonder, I started working with Fear Factory like. I want to say 2016. Okay, actually yeah. playing with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. as a just a touring, touring fill-in. Yeah, musician. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's killer, man. Um, so I mean, you've done that with Prong, Soulfly, Ministry, Possessed, Brujeria. You're just an in-demand guy. Well, I only ever did one rehearsal with Brujeria. So oh, okay. I, I, I never actually hey. did any shows or toured with them. I, I, I just picked up the bass because Shane was late for rehearsal and I just happened to be there. It's like, well, hey, I know the songs. It's Jim. Yeah. Hell yeah, and right like, on. I think I did like two, three songs and then Shane came in. Oh, 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 <laughs> there you go. Let me my bass mic. Well, okay, so you're the longest, you know, member in Static X, uh, if I'm not mistaken on that. Longest surviving member of the band? Um, I mean, me, me, I mean, technically Kenny was with Wayne six years before they both moved to LA okay uh, but you know if, if we're going by just like uh, when the band was actually called Static X then yeah. it, it'd be the three of us uh, uh, myself uh, Kenny and Koichi right and well do you do you feel that pressure to kind of carry the Static X legacy uh, now that you guys are you know it's all on your shoulders in a, in a way oh yeah absolutely I mean uh, it, it, it was it, it's a little less now that uh you know, we put out uh, the 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 last two records. The yeah, regeneration, volume one, volume one and two of volume regeneration. Two. Yeah, yep. yeah. That I, I felt was the biggest responsibility is to make sure we did that right and did right by Wayne's family and by the fans with with, with Wayne's last material. You know, and uh, that was a big big weight. And once that was done and out and positively received. I was like, ooh, okay, yeah. that's a weight off my shoulders. Yep, you know? yep. And he's talking, guys, about uh, Project Regeneration Volume 1. That one came out in 2020, and then Volume 2 just came out in January of this year, right? Yeah. And tell us about that recording process for the album. You were just kind of touching on it a little bit. You guys, that was right during the COVID lockdown. Were you guys affected by all that? Did yeah, you have to no. do a lot of remote Well, stuff? yeah, yeah. It definitely slowed things down for us. Um, and... Um, you know, we, we we had to, like, just outright stop for, like, yeah. six, eight months, you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, we eventually got got our shit together. And, <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> well, it's a delicate process, too, continuing on the, with the band. Like and like you were saying, some of that last recorded material with Wayne. How did you, you know, were were you conscious, like, going into it? Just like you, like you said, you wanted to do it justice, but at the same time kind of do something new and what you're feeling creatively at the time, maybe? Um, maybe towards the end of that process, um, but going into it, it, there was a conscious effort to, to try and recapture that vibe and spirit. The original. Of, of, of Wisconsin Death Trip. Right. And even though the, you know, production processes are new and, and different, you know, we, we, we tried to recapture that vibe and, uh, why we went with uh, Ulrich Wilde to, to help us produce the record. Yeah, what was that like going uh, with with him again? Oh, it's great. I, I, I love working with Ulrich. I, I've I've been lucky enough to work with him on projects outside of Static X. Right. Yeah. And it's always a blast. We we'd probably 
get stuff done a lot quicker if, if we didn't spend half the time fucking around. But, <laughs> yeah, but it's always fun with him, man. Yeah, does he kind of make it like a fun atmosphere? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, hell yeah. Right on. Okay, well, we're here at Aftershock. Um, yeah, compared first to, time, man. First time, right? Yep. So what do you think? So what are your impressions so yeah, far? Yeah, this is cool, man. It's my, my first time here. Um, first time for Static X, and yeah, so far so good, man. It looks great. Uh, beautiful day. Yeah. yeah. So I'm Hell looking yeah, forward man. to it, man. Okay, well, how about 2025? Let's talk a little bit about that. You got anything you can let us in on? Any plans uh, for the band? There's some stuff in the works for uh, North America. The only thing that's confirmed right now is Europe in the uh, summer. Right. Um, and then um, we're hoping to get the documentary done and out by next year that's right i heard about yeah. that can mm -hmm. you share a little bit on the documentary um uh, not a whole lot because you know we're still sure sure still finishing it up but Is there a uh, release date at range no or anything? I, nothing I, yet nah, no okay. release date i i don't i don't because we did that lat with the second rec record <laughs> and then it you had to delay it right and people got mad at me so i ain't saying any more release dates man <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But it's very anticipated in the Static X community, man. We can't wait to check this out. I mean, I've heard a lot about yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's going to be cool, man. It's going to be a, a, a really cool look back at, at, at the history of the Hell band yeah. and, uh, and, and the history of Wayne and, and, and uh, you know, how he affected all our lives, you know? Yeah. Still to this day. I mean, we're yeah. here at Aftershock. Yep. We're about to go check it out. So make sure you guys check it out, staticx.org. Tony Campos doing double duty this weekend. Fear Factory and Static X. Thank you so much for taking your time out on this, Tony. Yeah, thanks for having me, man.